Thank you so much for being here. I am proud to be here standing with you. And I'm here today fighting for myself, for my family, and for all of my co-workers. Alright, so in a minute, uh, we're going to move off of this area, but, but before we do that, um, I wanted to ask Donia to say, to say a few words, because we know that today we're out here striking for justice, but there are also other folks that are fighting for justice in a broader movement. So I'm going to have Donia say a couple words. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. I would like to ask for a moment of silence for Eric Gardner and his family and let them know that we stand with them. Yeah. So if we can have folks, we're going to do a motion together while we do this moment of silence. Folks can put their hands up. In front of Burger King and at Burger King, that we want to make sure that the message of fast food workers get sent because folks are taking a big risk in being out here today. And this is good. We're supporting the fast food workers and you know we won't make any, any real progress if we don't get workers involved. So this is a good thing. Um, Hi, my name is Carmela Palacios. I work here at Burger King and I'm on strike today so that we get paid fair wages. And, and we know that we work very hard and we deserve to be paid a fair wage and we deserve to have benefits. We deserve to have vacation. Uh, que darles para que coman porque lo poco que ganamos no, no nos alcanza. And we do it because we need to be able to put food on the table for our kids because with what we're making right now, it's not enough. No. Mayor Betsy Hodges! Yeah. Well, thank you very much. How are y'all doing this morning? Yeah. Well, I guess it's afternoon now. I am very happy and very proud to be standing here with you today. I support your right to a wage that you can keep a family fed and clothed and housed on. I support your right to be part of this community and to participate in the full way possible. And I want to be clear, I support your right to organize. I want to make sure you have every right to be out here, every right to come out here and say what it is that's important to you, what you value, what you want, and to make sure that happens without recrimination. That's right. Because I know that, that having fair wages for fast food workers means a couple things. It's good for our economy. That's right. Right? right. Yeah. We know that higher wages are good for our economy, and we know that it's good for the local economy because you all spend it right here in your own community, right? Yeah. yeah. Because you know how important it is, not just for the community you're in and for your family, but for this entire city and the fairness and justice in our city. So that's why I'm out here today standing with you because I know it's good for the city and I know it's good for every person in this city that you all get a fair wage. So, so we're also here joined today by, um, by, folks from, by folks from other movements. This is not just about fast food workers, it's about low wage workers across the state that are standing up together to join this fight to win $15 an hour and the right to form a union without fear of retaliation. Aaron Johnson, I'm a home health care worker. Uh, uh, home health care workers are paid very little, we have no benefits, uh, we drive our clients around but don't get to mileage reimbursement, 
Uh, recently, we decided to do something about these conditions, and back in August, we voted to form a union. Yeah. Everyone who works for a living should uh, be able to make a living. Amen. Hi, I'm Carrie Sheldon, and I'm here today to, uh, with SEIU Home Health Care Workers Union. I am involved with the home care union because I see the struggle <laughs> home care workers face despite their important work. We want to invite up someone else to speak who's here as an ally supporting fast food workers and has been with Situl fighting on the side of low wage workers since she got into office and before, City Council Person Alondra Cano. Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm the Ninth Ward Council member here and represent a lot of low wage workers. I'm proud to stand with you today. Uh, if we don't speak out against these injustices, things won't change. We can't let fear control our lives. And I always say, if we're not getting in trouble, we're not doing our job. If we're not getting in trouble, we're not doing our job. So let's keep fighting. Let's keep standing up for the people in our communities. We're with you 100%. Thank you. Right now, uh, I would like to read off some names of people that have been uh, murdered by the police. I'd like us all to be silent, um, <coughs> feel the energy, feel each other, know that you're not alone, all right, and that we are strong together. We are so strong. We are power, okay? We are strength. Hannah Akbar, Zachary Adrian, Joseph Azuz, Mark Backland, Lewis Barrett, Joshua Beacom, <coughs> Charles Berry, Terrence Franklin, Woo! Trayvon Martin, Woo! Christopher Burns, Marcus James Burrell, Eric Gardner, Michael Brown, Theodore Bobo, James Blakenstad, Jason Barnes, Chris Anderson, Sean Asklin, Wally Burks, Katie Berg, but this is your time to take a step back and let the full color be acknowledged by the media. That means also if you are asked to speak to by the media. United! 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 Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. <laughs> 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 